All right, so I thought I should make a follow-up video to our meeting that we had yesterday. Editors kind of went over what your summer assignment's going to be. Um, I just want to have a resource for you guys to, you know, go through a few times if this is confusing. Um, if you guys haven't had me before, yeah, that's my dog Jinx behind me. She is in her bed. Usually when I'm on the computer, she likes to be near me. She will whine at the door if I don't let her in the room. So deal with her being here. Um, so the really important thing about this summer assignment is that you guys learn how to navigate image library correctly and um, without making a mess. Okay. And what I mean by that is putting photos where they belong. Um, this is the 2019 folder and we started out pretty strong. People were putting them in the right spot, but eventually it got messy. And so our goal is just to be, um, as detailed as possible when labeling these folders and we don't just throw them all in one place. Like you can see, here's our fall section. This is everything that happened in fall, um, starting with week eight, all the way up until about November, November 17th. I think it's about when we stopped covering fall. Um, scroll down here. You can see the summer folder week one, all the photos here, all the photos are labeled. They did a good job. You see a week of eyes, freshman, first day, freshman orientation, stuff like that. Um, that's pretty important. And I'll kind of go over how to relabel photos quickly and efficiently in a follow-up video. So don't worry about that. Um, labeling photos isn't important. It's all about putting your stuff in the right folder for this video. Um, so an example of why we want to be efficient about this. So like this folder here um, isn't labeled. Um, this person just put photos from the entire year in here. At least she knew like where her photos were, but it's kind of hard to find your photos when you have everything throughout the year in one spot. Um, I don't know. That's just my opinion. So let's kind of log into the 2020 account. This is a 2019 account. Um, let's see here. This is going to be the end point of the video when I show you how to actually get these photos on the spread. Um, yeah, I'm doing a spread on my dog. Um, but I'm gonna show you how to get to this point, um, and kind of how to arrange your photos or edit them. So I'm going to log out. I'm not going to save what I did. So you want to go to the top right corner, hit login. And the thing is right now you have to click the down arrow to log in the 2020 because some people still might be working on the 2019 book. So it automatically goes to the 2019, um, login is eight six four zero and then you have to use whatever account the editors gave you if you lost your account you're gonna have to contact an editor in group me or email them i don't know so this is login screen it tells about our cells and other details that i'll go over with later so to make your folder for the summer assignment you have to make it you know, that's important because I want you guys to learn how to make folders and label them. Click the create image library. Click the down arrow for activity, that little tiny arrow next to activity. So I think if you click over here, yeah, if I click here, it won't do anything. You have to actually click the little arrow. Then go to this folder for summer sign, click the arrow here. And you have to make a folder like I did here, Mr. Costa's example. I'm gonna delete this. This is our end goal. Yes, delete. Can I delete the folder? I forgot. Yeah, I can. Delete folder. Okay. So I'm gonna make a new folder. Mr. Costa's example. Okay. Make sure you click on your folder. See how I made it and it was still in the summer assignment? If I did it right here, it would load in the summer assignment. That's not good. Mr. Cause example, upload, add files, click on my dog, one of me for lack of it. One other thing, if sometimes with your phone, um, it saves it in a different format and you're gonna have to convert those. Um, and I'll have to show you guys how to do it in the follow-up video or you can just type in what I would just type, but um, let me see here. Downloads. See this H-E-I-C? If your image is an H-E-I-C photo when you upload, 
it's not going to show up. It's not the right format. Um, you'd have to type in how to convert HIC to JPEG. We can only put PNGs, JPEGs, or TIFFs in. So JPEG is a common one. And if you just go to one of these websites, this one right here works pretty easy. Wait, not this one. I've been to this website. Where'd it go? This one's free. So you just drag and drop 50 at a time and it'll convert it to JPEG. And then you upload it to Jostens. Um, but it has to be a JPEG. I'm not sure how you do this from a Chromebook. Um, you have to ask your editors because they've been doing it all year. But if you have a Windows PC, this is how you do it. Okay. Once it turns green, done uploading. Now we have to go to our ladder. Ladder is a word for just like a display of our book. Click plan, page ladder. Here's our page right here that we're gonna start with, or at least we're gonna start at 250 and go back. Um, your editors are going to place these templates on there, but um, I think when you guys log in, you might be at page one. So you have to scroll all the way down to the bottom and then go here and see if anyone's claimed the page. I'm gonna claim 251. And if I recall, they said, put your name at the top. Mr. Costa. So nobody take my page, okay? And then to get to your images, it might be on pages like this. You have to click on images. Click the down arrow. Summer assignment. I can't see my photos. Oh, now I can because I clicked on my folder. Um, put a picture of me somewhere maybe. So if it's red, that's why I picked this photo. It's a small photo. It's not big enough to fit in these large photos, right? See how it's really big there? It's not high enough quality. It won't be able to stretch it out and make it fit. So I'd have to go to one of these smaller boxes. So if it's red, if you're having this issue right here, see how I can't go to the big ones? That means your photo is too small and you have to have a smaller box. So use one of these smaller boxes here. Okay. This was a good photo. So if you double click on this box, it'll let you move it around and crop it, okay? You can even zoom in more if you want. I don't like that photo there. I think that photo should go there or here. This is picture my dog when we go for a walk and that is where she likes to go to the bathroom and I always have to pick it up. Put that one there. I think that one looks silly. Put one here. Here. So I don't have enough to fill up the whole page yet. Um, but yeah, that's really it. Um, if say they don't fit again, you can double click crop them. Um, you'll notice that you can't change the size. Oh, well, these should be locked. Um, let me undo that. You won't be able to edit the size or position of any of these. We're going to lock the position of them. Um, so next year when you guys are working on a spread, you're gonna have a pre-made template. And if you need anything changed, you have to ask one of the editors to change it. Um, Cause our goal is to have a uniform book, something that you know, when you look at it, every page relates to each other. We don't, we don't want each page to be a completely different design. So we're going to pick specific elements to make sure that they are present on every single page of the book. And that's really what makes a successful book. Um, so bear with us. This is a template from last year that we use for the uh, JV spreads. Um, I think that's it. But you know, your summer assignments, you got to fill all these in. Um, you got to have interviews down here. It could just be a family members, uh, I guess random people if you go on vacation. Um, <clears throat> but it is important that you do your summer assignment um, just because it does help out the yearbook. Our spread last year, the summer spread was completely summer assignment photos because we couldn't get anything from people on campus. I'm going to try to send an email out to get more photos for the summer, but um, just think of anything sports, 
uh, vacations. I don't know, you guys eating food on the couch, watching Netflix, I don't care, as long as it's clear photo or funny or something with friends. Just make sure there's people from Tulare Western there, and it could just be you. Um, but uh, video games, I don't know, whatever you kids do nowadays. Walking your dog, we can have a dog spread, pet spread, maybe people with like their horses, cows, things like that, FFA. Um, I think that's it. I'm going to sign off. Sorry for the bad video.